Hey everyone, Adisha here. Welcome to Learn with Adisha. Today we're going to be learning about hazard symbols. These are really important to everyone who works in a lab. First off, let's start with the top. Danger to health. This is what it looks like. Things with this on can cause allergies, cancer, or even genetic mutations. They can alter the functioning of certain organs and even cause death or even may damage fertility or the unborn. These may not these must not be handled if pregnant. They must not be inhaled or ingested and must not come in contact with skin or eyes. Things with this symbol, a skull and crossbones, are toxic. There's a risk of death here. It poisons even at very low doses. It can cause nausea, vomiting, head headaches, loss of consciousness, or even other problems that could result in death. These must not be inhaled or ingested, come in contact with skin or eyes, and they must avoid all contact with the human body. So no skin, no nose, nothing like that. Oops. What's this? It's an irritant. Things like bleach, drain cleaner, chloroform of herbicide are harmful. They are an irritant. There's risk of irritation. It poisons at high doses and it's an irritant to the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. These can cause skin allergies, drowsiness or dizziness or even an. These must not be inhaled or ingested, must not come in contact with skin or eyes or any part of the human body at all. Things with this sign on them are corrosive. Brain cleaner, descaler, paint stripper, and battery acid are all corrosive. These things will attack or destroy metal or wood and will damage living tissues. It will destroy your skin or eyes in the case of contact or spraying. You must avoid contact with the skin, mucous membranes, and eyes for these things. And do not, do not, I don't have to say this enough, breathe the vapors of this product. These are still corrosive, no matter what. This is gas under pressure. Things like even uh, normal gas is gas under pressure. There's a risk of explosion here. It can explode when heated and may cause burns or injury related to cold liquids or cryogenic liquids. Keep these things away from heat. If you're thinking of burning that gas, on a stove, I guess. Well, don't. That'll blow up your home. And you should avoid contact with the skin, mucous membranes, and eyes for all of these. Never, ever let them touch you. This is an oxidizer. Things like hydrogen peroxide have them. There's a risk of explosion or burning, which means they are combustible, may cause or intensify a fire, and may cause an explosion in the presence of flammable products like fire or even gas under pressure. Keep the things away from flammable substances. And do not handle these near flames, sparks, or heat sources. Thinking of having dyed hair near your birthday cake with candles on it? Probably should get that undyed. These kinds of things are flammable. Petrol, gas, fuel, and ether. In, there's a risk of fire here. In contact, if it's in contact with flames, spark, or static electricity or under the influence of heat or friction, or even in contact with air or water. Keep clear of flammable gases. 
do not handle these things near flames, sparks, or any kind of heat sources, and avoid shock or friction. These kinds of things are explosive. They have a risk of it blowing up. Into they will blow up in contact. They might blow up in contact with flames, spark, or static electricity, or even under the influence of heat or friction. Keep these away from flames or sparks. Avoid dropping them or anything, or even rubbing them on a carpet. That's bad. And prevent the formation of explosive mixtures. Meaning, don't mix these things up. These kinds of things are pollutants. There's a risk of pollution here. These kinds of things can cause adverse effects on aquatic environments and organisms, which means fish, crustaceans, algae, aquatic plants, etc. These must not be discharged into wastewater, as in sinks, toilets, anything like that. After use, take to a collection center for hazardous materials. Thanks for thanks you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.